Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. It's pouring rain outside, hot and humid, but pouring rain. Can you guys see it? There's a car. <laughs> It is pouring. Today is show prep day, but we don't know if there's gonna be a show. <laughs> oh, hello, lady. <laughs> hello, everyone. Look at it. Did you see that there's poop on the ground here? Dad didn't clean up. <laughs> Apparently, last night, Storm didn't get locked in properly, and he broke free. He broke free, and Sam found him over here eating hay. That's why it looks like that, a big, huge mess. Storm, you broke out. And what happened to you? <laughs> Apparently you've been running free. She's like, not in the field I want. It's pouring rain. It's supposed to rain all day. And it's like just a nice steady straight stream of rain. It's not like torrential rainpour. Or at least it was when we walked out here. Now that we have to walk back in the house, it's kind of torrential rain pouring. The show barns arena gets flooded and it doesn't have time to dry out before the show in the morning then it's gonna get canceled. But hopefully it'll get rebooked for Sunday. And I love a good Sunday show. Sunday shows are even better to me than Saturday. Just feels like you have more time to prepare. Did you get caught over on this side? Okay. Does she have hay? I don't know. Sam always throws hay inside for them when the weather's bad so they don't have to go out because heaven forbid they actually oh. act like wild animals. Yes. What? A nest? Well, there's a chicken there. Uh-oh. A dead one? No. A live chicken? Yes. Chicken! That's why they were smelling over here. Ellie, thank God it's not dead. That would stress me out. All right, well, just leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Maybe that's where the chickens lay their eggs now. Do you guys see her in there? Maybe Sam knows about it, too, because this thing is up. No, I feel like it's been like that. Well, I say we see what's underneath her. I want to. This barn is looking so messy, I have to clean it. I can't even handle it anymore. That's one of the big things that happens when Sam feeds them hay inside. They get hay all over. You guys remember what it, how long it took me to clean the hay off the ground when we moved here? There's a lot of one-colored eggs? Yeah, the pink ones. Grab them. The grab them. You grab it. Okay. All right, well, so there's a couple eggs. We definitely found a hidden nest. This girl used to lay down in the goat barn, but then she didn't like it anymore. So now she lays Gertie, here, egg. apparently. So the reason that we don't want her to lay here is because these eggs aren't fertilized. Well, they might be. They're, well, yeah, actually she does look bred. Put them in the incubator. Kirby, come. Uh, do you want to put them in the incubator or let her try and? Well, and we found the nest, so. Well, I don't know, let's leave them. No, because it's not safe in this barn. It is. No. Are they warm? Yeah. All right, wait, we're taking them because she goes into the chicken house at night, which means that these eggs aren't laid on all night, so that means that they're not viable. Here, look, I'll open the door. You can go out. Look, door's open. Go ahead. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> You're a mess. So when we walked in this barn, Ellie and the puppy ran over there and were sniffing. So that's why we discovered that nest. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up this barn. We have no idea what to do about the show. Like, do we get ready and braid and do, do all that stuff tonight? Well, or we do we wait? Need to braid horse, yeah, you know, I like a braided horse better though. I don't. So the problem with the show is gonna be this. We are in the process of looking for a shimmable show pad. One that's not very thick because Sophie's show, Sophie's, saddle needs a shim pad half pad and when we add a show pad it makes it too thick for her is there supposed to be a dot a black dot in there uh that looks like an eyeball so we might have to incubate them yeah put them in an incubator ellie ellie Kirby. oh my gosh <laughs> ellie come on the one dog you don't want to train the puppy yeah <laughs> But they're best friends. Ellie is best friends with everybody. She's literally the dirtiest dog, but the friendliest dog. I think it's really cool if Ellie gets another friend that's a dog. She's friends with everybody except for Molly. What do you think, Storm? 
Sophie decided that she wants to uh, incubate the eggs. She thinks they might be fertile. Okay, so this is the show pad that we use. So I know that we have another one. Oh, we have a white saddle pad. I'm just trying to figure out for the show. So I need to figure out a shimmable show pad, which I have two options, but I have to be able to go to the store and look at them. And they're both a little over an hour away from us. So I could clean that. I've seen people wear white saddle pads. Yeah, we might, that's an option. All the show pads that I have are thick. So this is the one that we use, but I know I have a thinner one. These are way thicker and small. They're smaller. So those ones are definitely no's. Look at how dirty this is already getting. It's brand new. It's honestly super humid outside. Like I'm just standing here pouring sweat and it's not like it's overly hot out. It's just humid. It's like I'm not sweating. I'm just wet. Does that make sense? Like my face feels wet. My hair just keeps puffing up. Do you like the water little puppy? <laughs> <laughs> I swear we have another one. Anyway, I'm going to put it in there just in case. And then I'm going to wash this one. And this might be the one that we have to use because for now, until I find her a shimmable half pad. She's such a good puppy. She's learning so well. She's a super friendly puppy too. She's so super quiet. Molly was kind of quiet like that too when she was a baby and she's still quiet. You are joking. I knew it was in the barn. You guys remember I said I kept losing, I lost my cup. I thought it was in the barn. It had a smoothie in it. I couldn't find it. I looked everywhere. I looked in here so many times. Sam finally ordered me new ones. And then when the new ones came, I was, I said to myself, you know what? We're going to find the old ones. We're going to find them. I know we're going to find them. Sophie just found it. Literally it's been a day, maybe two days. I still can't believe we have a new puppy. Like I did not sign up for a new puppy. I just, every time I see her, I'm just like, I don't understand. I don't understand how this happened. Ellie's like, I don't care. Who cares how it happened? I'm just so glad it did happen. Ellie's a good friend. Yeah, Ellie loves her because the other dogs Even don't. she bites her ears. Yeah, the other dogs don't play with her like a puppy and Ellie's still very much like a puppy. This puppy plays with her the way that Ellie likes. Ellie's the one that initiates all the babies on this farm. She plays with all the tiny babies. Friend's kid was here the other day and Kirby walked right up to her, sat down in front of her and gave her the paw, <laughs> gave her her paw. I'm like, look, she just wants to say hi. I can't wait till my grandkids come. They're gonna love her, especially Jacob. <laughs> You're a mess. You're a dirty mess. <laughs> She's like, yeah, so what? So are you. <laughs> well, look at the ducks, you guys. They're under an umbrella. They're ducks, for goodness sake, that love water, and they're under an umbrella. People are gonna start thinking that you just sit here all day, but the truth is he just got back from getting all the grain that we need. Okay, so first of all, we found a secret nest. Oh. In the barn. And. The barn? The big barn? Mm -hmm. The horse barn? Yeah. yeah. I've seen the chicken go in there all the time. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us? I'm stealing the grain? <laughs> Look. Oh, you found the cup. <laughs> Sophie found it too. It was in the barn, just where I thought it was. We're gonna incubate these because five of them have eyes. They have eyeballs, even though she goes to the house, the chicken house at night. And she doesn't sit on them to keep them warm at night. Alright, so Sophie, Sylvie's going driving, you guys. Don't run over the ducks. This is literally just a prelude to winter, you guys, when it's like hard to do chores. So where we live in Canada, you can only get your learner's permit when you're 16, but you are legally allowed to drive on your property with your parents' um, supervision, I guess. So we've always let the girls drive on the property. Gabby was really into it, and when she was 15, I think she was like 13 to 15, she really was into it, and she did a lot of driving on our property, even though the farm was just so small. Sylvie's just starting to get into it, so it's a bit scary. <laughs> It's like Gabby picked up driving so fast because it's it's who she is. Like that's what she's into. Sophie's more like me and it doesn't come naturally to her. Yeah. Sam's directing her. I just don't think it's good to not be in the car with her. Everybody watch out. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's doing it. What a good girl. Ha <laughs> ha 
my god, I'd be freaking out. I don't like to be on my side like that. Oh, good job, so. You're struggling a little bit. <laughs> You're struggling a little bit? Yeah. All right, now what do you got to do? Straighten and go forward more. Straighten your wheel. You're not straight. <laughs> <laughs> so he said straighten your wheel. She looks down at the wheel. Ooh. Don't stop. Don't stop or else you're going to stop. Don't stop, he said. Oh, don't, don't stop. stop. Yeah, all you can hear is stop. I think we're good here. <laughs> Uh, you got it, right Sophie. Well, you're, you're going. You're doing Come on. good. Keep going. Okay, yeah. I love seeing her behind the wheel. Go up your window. Put it in park. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she still hasn't quite figured out the gas from the brake yet. I love the sound of my turkeys. I just love them. Isn't that so cute? Yesterday I squatted down outside and my little girl Clara just jumped right on my back again. All right, here we go. Uh, my driving skills are on point, <laughs> kind of. Open door. One bag of food fills up all of our feeders. So we have this big, huge one. We have a big one in there. And then we have this little one. We have so many feeders because we don't like everybody to fight, if that makes sense. We need like, well you guys know, you have horses. <laughs> Same with chickens. And if you guys are wondering about those big red feeders, the worst ever. Like it, the food doesn't hardly come down at all. So yeah, you don't go through as much food, but then they don't hardly eat. And they're so unstable, the legs fell off. Are there any eggs under her? Can you, can you get the eggs over there? Isn't it good when you're tall? When you're the tallest one, you're supposed to eat from down there, but because she's so tall, the turkeys are so tall, they just eat from the top. And the chickens. And the chickens. <laughs> this is our baby feeder. The sun is out, and it is shining down on us, you guys. Sure to dry up everything. A sure sign that the door show is on. Oh, it is still hot out there. Oh, there's Molly. Now that we have confirmation that the horse show is on, Ladybug is getting her a bath. She's like, I already had a bath. It rained all day. Did you not see? She's Woo! Also all muddy. Are you going to cut her hair, her mane a little bit more? No. I love how the professional braiders do it. They braid like four braids and then they cut it. They braid it and then they cut it all. And then it looks crazy when it's done. Look at the candy cotton sky. Look at those clouds. Cotton candy clouds. Wow, that is gorgeous. And it's not even nighttime. Isn't that gorgeous? That is a mini miracle. Cotton candy. So he's making fun of me. Isn't it gorgeous? Holy moly. It is stunning out here. We're gonna need more of this. Yeah, we need more shampoo. Shampoo? shampoo. I have a whole other thing to use. Shampoo? Yeah, we're out of shampoo. It's honestly so hot though. I have this. This is our junk tires. This is where we just throw all of our junk on Sam's tires. But I have this soap that she never wants to use. But it smells so good. Okay, I need not that. No, it works good. Look at there's Posey. Give her a bath too. Hi, Poos. I am headed into town to get money for the show tomorrow and it might not seem like a big deal to you guys. I'm going by myself though. Usually I'm with Sam or have a kid with me. I'm always with someone. Those like three times a year that I go driving off by myself into the sunset are just lovely. I can listen to my own music, I can think my own thoughts, I can relax. Look at this girl teasing this rooster. She's just standing there like, haha, you can't get me. Every time I need Sam to go shopping for me, like to buy stuff for me when I'm busy, because he likes to drive, he is always going into town and I never want to go. I always give him my bank card, he never gives it back. Do I have my bank card? Oh, I got it. I could use that. I am all set for tomorrow. Are you doing okay? <laughs> Lady's like, oh no, not this again. 
What? We got five braids. Five braids so far? Oh, they're so long, but so cute. Hey, we don't talk about that. I know, but if you want to go to a rated show one day, so if you go to a rated show, you're going to chop it? Yeah. I also need to trim this. Yep. She's like, this is boring. I love that you've been staying out here keeping her company. Do you miss showing? A little? Are you going to sit here with her? Oh, are you going in? No, you're staying here. I don't like it. You're staying in. <laughs> you're the sister. It's your job. I'm going to go edit. No, you're staying here too. <laughs> no. Sit and I have so much to do. Me too. <laughs> yeah, what do you have to do? Sit on the <laughs> Do you have enough for a ribbon, Sophie? Uh -huh. Why don't you have the puppy out here? Because no one's going to watch her. Yeah, so that's what's weird about our family. I don't know, maybe it's the same with people with multi-dogs that belong to different people. When Gabby's outside, Molly's outside. When Sam's outside, Molly's outside. I try and bring her with me because she's so easy, but she won't come. Why doesn't she come she with me? She doesn't like you. I know, why doesn't she like me? There's a lot of reasons. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was funny. I encourage my kids to be sarcastic and witty and uh, say whatever they want to say. I want them to learn how to debate and I want them to learn how to like, uh, it, that's funny to me. <laughs> I would say the same to her. When I'm outside, Ellie's with me. When Sophie's outside, uh, Daisy's often with her, but only if she's not doing barn stuff. If Sophie's outside and just in the yard doing stuff, Daisy's outside with her. And, uh, and Ruby and Daisy are always out with all of us, like when we're just in the yard doing stuff. So all of our dogs go with us at different times and we mostly let them choose. Like I open that door wide all the time and say, come on, whoever wants to come out. And only Ellie comes and the puppy will come too. And that dog always wants to come out, but then she sees. And then you're like, "Come on, Molly!" And, and I'm like, "Come on, Molly!" And she like she gives me the awfulest look, and then turns around and goes back in the house. But she's like, she's nice to me. Come here, Molly. Come here, baby. Yeah, yeah. You such, such a good girl. See, she likes me. She just doesn't like me that much I guess I don't know but anyway I'm gonna end today's video because I have to go edit Sylvia has a show prep to finish and Gabby's gonna hang out here and play music, play music and they're gonna do their sisterly thing I did. whoever plays the music gets to choose the music so Sophie don't forget you have to um, clean your helmet I know. I know. clean your tack pack everything I, I washed the saddle pad and it came out really really good I bleached it um, Sophie, make sure that you have every single thing. Don't say that because I'm going to forget something. <laughs> I know, that's the hard part, forgetting stuff. But anyway, looks like the show is a go and we're excited. I can't wait to do another show vlog. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Wish you luck. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the